Hello everyone, Year One Blink here, also known as Yu-Gi-Oh! Blinks, back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my Code Talker uh, deck profile on this game. So make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button, it really does help the channel grow. Leave a like, comment, all that stuff guys. So check this out. Uh, go to my deck. Right now guys, this is what we're running in the deck. Running one copy of Digitron, one copy of Dotscaper, one copy of Four Mud Skipper, one copy of Text Changer. And by the way, this is a 60 card deck. This is for uh, July, the end of July. So July 18th, one copy of Latency, two copies of Microcoder, Two copies of Cyber Synchron in case we can't get uh, the cards we need. One copy of Link Info Flyer. One copy of Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. This is a new card I added to my deck. Well, this one is too. I don't think I had that one before either for Mad Skipper. Latency, that's a new one that we've been adding, we've been messing around with. We got a backup secretary. This is really good for, uh, you know, extending your combos. So, what this card does, Dotscaper, it's really good for... It, it pops an effect from the graveyard, which is really good. For Mud Skipper, lets you draw an extra card when you Link Summon. Text Changer, they can't attack you. Latency, has some graveyard effects. Micro Coder, lets you get any, any spell you need. For Cynet, for our Cybers, Code Talker Monsters. Cyber Synchron, this is a very good defensive card, and it's a good tuner to summon Cybers Quantum Dragon or anything like that. And it, it cancels out um, card effects if your monster is in the link zone. This card is really good for extending combos if you if you don't have nothing else to do. We got Nightmare Corruptor Ibli to, to your opponent can't summon nothing but cybers or uh, link monsters backup secretary extends combos lockout gardener very good card for defensive purposes if they're about to beat you or something it's like a hand trap basically we got flame buffer low so if you like link summon or something you get to draw two cards <laughs> which is really good um, Widget Kid. This card allows you to summon one Cybers monster from your hand in defense position. This is a very good combo extender right here. And uh, Code Generator. This card just continues combos and you can uh, summon out of your hand. Um, and if it's on the field, you can draw a card or grab a card from your deck. Salamat Great Gazelle. This card is kind of broken. Basically combos with the Link Solomon Great card, then Solomon Great Spiny combos with that from the graveyard, which you'll be able to special summon. Ram Clouder. You can this is better good for late game. If you like need a big monster from your graveyard, it's basically Monster Reborn, but tributing this card. Um Cybers Gadget. This card is really good for late game. And actually, uh, yeah, not late, mid game and late game, you can make some crazy plays with this and extend combos. And it, it's really good. Lady Debug, your main engine. This is the card you want to start out with to get Micro Coder onto the field. So, yeah, there's some really strong cards here. Lady Debug, my, one of my favorite main deck monsters. We're running three of those. One link streamer. This card's good to extend combos. If you already have it on the field, co radiator good for going second to make your opponent's attack go to zero. If it's on the field, you can target two monsters. Um, we got Clock Wyvern. Really good tokens starter. If you ain't got nothing else to start with, we got Proxy Horse. Pretty good card. If you if you need more cards back into your link gate deck and if you're late game, this card's good. Sim Tabler, 
combo extender if you have a level four in your graveyard code exporter lets you grab a card from your graveyard put it into your hand level four monster or lower cybers white hat really good card to extend combos and make your opponent's attack go down cluster congester this card is good for when you're about to lose and you need something to hold them down and you need tokens so if you can somehow get this on the field it'll be really good uh, parallel like seed this card's good for extending combos if it's in your hand you can um, special summon this card from your hand we got a staple dark hole destroy all monsters on the field the geki um, got monster reborn one time passcode really good to, for putting a token beginning game um, decode destruction this card's good but I haven't used it much sign at mining one of the best cards in the deck to get the card you need like lady debug or something we got one curry way target one link monster from your graveyard basically return it combo extender grid rod this is very good for defensive purposes can it hit you with card effects or battle for one turn Cynet Universe, gain 300 attack, shuffle um, cards in the graveyard back into the deck. Cynet Storm, all link monsters on the field, gain 500 attack. If you get attacked, you can special summon a card from your extra deck. Salmon Great Sanctuary, I haven't used it much, it's just there for Salmon Great. Cynet Recovery, Used it very little, but it can it can be very helpful towards the end. Zero extra link. If you really want that big damage and you have a lot of link monsters on the field connected, you summon this card, you could actually pop off. All right, we're on the last row, guys. We got Signet Optimization. You get a normal. You get one normal summon. One extra normal summon with that. Um, sign that codec, your main card for grabbing cards from your deck and the co comboing with your deck. This is your main combo card. We got sign that back door. Target one cyber's monster you control, and if you do add one side, it's basically um, insurance. This is a good card for when you're about to lose. It negates an attack, and you can summon three coins. We coded alive. Target one cyber's monster you control. This card is broken for when you're about to lose. Cyber's beacon. These are all just like cards to to stall and get my um my big monsters back on the field. If you're like have no monsters on the field, you know. Limit code, same with that. Uh, sign that cascade. This is a really good card. And when you link summon a level one monster, you guys might be hearing a buzzing noise, so sorry about that. Um, oops. We're running two sign that conflicts. This cancels out a lot of. If, if somebody wants to use Ash Blossom or anything like that, it can't solve effect to use that. And then we have uh, Call of the Haunted. Activate this card. It basically brings back a monster from the grave and it counts out Monster Reborn. So, yeah, that's good. Um, for our extra deck, we have Cyber's Quantum Dragon. Can um, put an opponent card back in their hand if they declare an attack on you or if you declare an attack on them and it can attack for a second time and it can't be um and you can only target this card for an attack so that's kind of OP. <laughs> um we got firewall xc dragon i haven't really 
um, summon this card too much, but it can be really OP as you guys can see. You got two level fours, XC summon, and you can summon one um, special summon one monster from your graveyard. Got Link Karibo staple for your Cybers deck to combo off. Um, Salaman Great Baylinx. I just use it because you can literally make a level one out of um, one level four lower Cybers monster. Really good to get a Link monster out there. Um, Gang. We got Code Talker, of course. Can't be destroyed by card effects or battle. While this monster points to a card and gains 500 attack to each card it points to. So it can be at 2,300. Uh, uh, we got... Oops. We got Code Talker inverted. If this card is Link Summoned, you can special summon one cyber monster from your hand. It basically gives you an extra summon and you can just combo off with, like, say... Lady D bug if you haven't used her yet or Cyber Widget Kid and he's gonna let you summon her. It's crazy what you can do guys. Then we got Decode Talker, gains five hundred attack for each monster it points to. Um if it points to a non monster, you can tribute this card it points to and negate the activation. I think you tribute your um, enemy cards too. Um that's like one of the main monsters for uh Yu-Gi-Oh this deck, I guess. We got X Code Talker. So basically lets you get, uh, I only use this because Cyanet um, Codec, it's going to let me grab uh, this card or this card, any wind monster, you know. We got Power Code Talker, he can negate people's effects and they can't, um, and if it points to a monster, you can tribute, oh okay, so if this points to a monster while it attacks, um, you can wreck with it basically. Um, we got Transcode Talker, one of the best cards you can bring out. Can't be targeted with card effects. Um, you can bring back Code Talker and you can't destroy Code Talker with battle or card effects. Same with this. You just can't destroy this with card effects basically. So this gives you uh, Link 3 uh, or lower out of the graveyard, which is OP. Like Monster Reborn. Shooting Code Talker. This is a good card for like if you don't got nothing else to combo with and you need to draw some cards and for the attack phase you'll be able to do that and the second standby phase. Oops. I gotta go grab that card again. But it... Alright, my bad guys. Alright, we got Firewall Dragon. This card's so good. Like, it has... This card was banned for a little bit, but it has multiple effects. So if you summon around this card, you can just keep drawing cards from your graveyard. And if it dies, you can special summon one card from your hand. So basically, that's, that's it with that. Um, we got Access Code Talker, my favorite card of the deck. Basically, you summon this, it all coincides with this um, Cyber's Link Code Talker deck because he is a Code Talker. He's Access Code Talker, you know? So basically your opponent can't activate card effects in the response to this card's activation. So basically you're going to get 5,300 beat stick and you, if you have so many Link monsters in your graveyard you can pop this full field unless he has something to negate your Access Code Talker. But we're running two of those to pop boards and get the final KO basically and since he's a code talker he works with Cyanet Codec, Recoded Alive, Cyber's Vegan, Alt Limit Code, you know, Cyanet Conflict, any code talker cards, you know, Cyanet Storm, all this stuff guys. But anyways, and then the last card we got Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. I haven't really used it much, I gotta learn how to use it, but this card is nuts. If you have a lot of monsters in your graveyard, it gains to 1,500 attack for each counter on it during the battle phase only. So that's kind of broken. And that is your deck profile for for um, for the Cyber Slink Code Talker for July 18th or 19th. One of the two. All right, let's go to some games, guys. And then I'm gonna go to the last three I won. Some easy games, but I basically won. Uh, 
and you, I'll show you guys the boards, the type of boards you can get with this. Alright, so we started off with Sinai, <laughs> excuse me, Sinai Universe. I'm able to see, like, I'm able to use Widget Kid, get Lady Debug, pop that effect, pop those two effects, and go into Code Talker, which is going to get me um, Sinai Codex from the graveyard with the Micro Coders effect. And I have full combo, basically, guys. We're going to chain together, pop those two effects. Get Transcode Talker out here. Pop Transcode Talker's ability or effect. Gonna link three into a uh, extra talker. And I'm sorry about the mic, guys. If you guys can hear that, I mean, it's because I have my my controller plugged in and uh, it makes this like energy interference you know but i need to once i get some batteries i won't do that but we got code exporter now link four into i believe access code i'm gonna go straight into access code and all those abilities are gonna pop together chain link three access code string back latency this is the combo i'm talking about string back latency to your hand Sign that codex gonna pop and send tablet to my hand. Pop latency's effect. Now I can link them into a into Rebo. Latency's effect's gonna pop. I can link into Firewall Dragon. Boom. His effect's gonna pop. Ten thousand hands, guys. I'm supposed to be scared of this or what? We use Poxy War and go into a Co Talker Inverted. I'm gonna pop this effect with Cyanide Codex and Codex Porter, which is broken. And you guys can see the type of stuff you can do with this deck that I created. I didn't copy no one. This is my own Code Talker deck, basically. There's some in Lady Debug with Code Talker Inverted. This guy just gave up. We had a crazy board already. The combo you can do with, like, you guys, get, this is the craziest board in the game. I'm gonna be making a cool talker deck in real life. I just bought a cyber so link deck at the beginning of it. I got two backup secretaries which I did need to make this deck. Got that Joss paper I needed. Alright. So who is this? I think we're reversing um, Dark Magicians and yeah, we're reversing Dark Magicians here. So Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Yugi Moto versus Yusei. Alright, so this guy's using Apprentice Illusion Magician. Got one in defense and all, um, attack mode. Fusion Destiny. Destiny Phoenix Destroyer. Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix. Okay. So how do we take this out, guys? Wait, why would he do that? Oh, he's gonna waste that other card, okay. So I baited out that, that, that D, DPE. I am gonna be able to combo off with uh, this Code Talker right now. Put him in front of DPE. 
am going to be able to par par parallel it to with microcoder um, chain effect to that. We got Sinet Codec from microcoder. Boom, we're going to use Eternal Soul, okay? Able, he's able to summon another Dark Magician with Eternal Soul and Dark Magical Circle. He's going to get rid of my, um, my Sinet Conflict, which is not good. That's fine though. I'm going to bring back Photonger. Zero Extra Link. I'm using zero extra link and I'm attacking DPE. DPE, uh, right now. It'll be back though. Alright, we're gonna go into the access code. I mean, I could have went earlier, but... I think I do more damage with those two. Unless um, zero extra link puts all that damage from all those other Oh, excuse me. I usually end people in like two or three turns. Alright, so not a great hand here. But this is actually kinda good, I guess. We're gonna get Salaman Great. We're gonna link Salaman into Code Stalker. Oh, so his effect pops Salaman Great Gazelle, so you guys can see his Gazelle card in action. Oh, so he puts that in your graveyard and that, that effect pops. Okay, so that's how you use those Solomon Great cards. <laughs> I'm gonna get Transcode Talker out here. Pop Transcode Talker's effect. So this is basically comboing off with even without Sinek. So we're we're kind of comboing off even without Sinek Codex. As you guys can see, boom. Firewall Dragon. I'm able to get uh, th that card back in my hand, which is good. Oh, okay, so I, I used that effect. I don't know if I should have, though. Oh, but I did get, get Life Force at 9,300. That's actually kind of good. We got four Med Skipper. Yeah. Activate four mud skipper's ability. Ooh, access code. You get the access code talker. Of course, those two abilities are gonna chain together, those effects. Plus four mad skipper. This is what makes this deck so lethal. I'm about able to get Cyber's White Hat on the field. Plus another card. Or I'm able to summon boom. Going to Link Karibo. Code Generator. Going to Shooting Code. There you guys have it, GG. Death spot. First yawn, hockey fight. Guys. First yawn. We're gonna go into Mecha, Phantom, Beast. Oh, 
able to summon all these cards, that's crazy. Yeah, wing. Clear wing synchro dragon, guys. Crystal wing synchro dragon. He's gonna end this crazy time. We draw Lady Debug. Be able to summon Lady Debug, pop Lady Debug's effect. Get Michael Coder in my hand. Going to Solomon Grapes, Valence. Grab that card. Going to Code Talker. We're talking doing 2,600 attack now. Now we go into Transco Talker. I kind of messed it up. I shouldn't have popped that parallel exceed right there. Because I was going to get his effect anyway. Transco Talker. That's fine though. We still got combo. All these effects are just gonna... Dude, this is crazy. Flame Buffalo, Sign that Codex, and all these cards are all... Uh, going to effect right now. Boom. Going to Link to Evo. Going to Access Code. This is where we end the game. Access code was that chain for? That chain two. Chain effect two. Dot Ibly, my nightmare corruptor. Bring back that card in from the graveyard. All right, now here we start popping cards. Gonna pop that. Gonna pop this thing next. Gonna pop this thing. <laughs> These are all OTKs. Most of these are like, a lot of these are OTKs, just ending my opponent quickly. guys sorry about that um okay we're reversing oh reversing the new deck here we got the adventurer deck oh adventurer and phantom knights okay I was able to draw so many cards. This guy's just popping off. So he's gonna summon summon Wanker and Pantress of the temple. He's gonna XP summon to a Labar Sea Dragon. Gonna pop Phantom Shade for Yan. Yeah. Gonna go to a Phantom Knight's Rusty. This guy has a pretty nasty hand. He's going into a Phantom Knight's Artifact Dodge. Three into a credit plant, birthday and a condo. You guys know what he's gonna do with this, right? <laughs> Elemental heroes, we're gonna go into the And he's gonna end his face with that. Pretty nasty kill. 
Has some negates. Okay. So we're gonna start out with Monk Reborn. Put it on my side of the field. He's gonna pop Maxi. That's fine though. Because I'm gonna end this game. Alright. I'm able to come and stay generated for the kill. I'm gonna go transfer talker. Ooh, he's popping some effects, and some knight. Not gonna be enough though, got Michael Kroger. Got my great. All these effects are just gonna start kicking in, guys. That with a uh, code talker inverted. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we're going to go access code talker. Pop access code effect. Grab sign that code deck, of course. Link three into an X code talker. Sign that code deck to the pop off along with uh, the X code talker. Guys, comboing off right now. Pretty hard. Boom. Able to summon a couple monsters from this back to this field. But well, I'm able to get cards back into my hand. All right. What's better than one access code? How about two? And. The effect pops because uh, I don't know how it's popping, but I'll take it. That's all gonna resolve. You can't do nothing now. Right, this is where this is where we end the game. Now we just pop cards, pop that, pop that, and definitely pop this thing. Bye. Alright, we're gonna pop this thing too. Oh, we're just gonna enter that with and beat you. Boom! Adventure GPE, Phantom Knight gets out of there. See you in the Shadow Realm, homeboy. Well, actually, I took him to the Shadow Realm. That was OTK too. That, uh, okay. And we opened up with Nightmare for after Italy, so that's pretty nice. You guys get to see the air animation. Summon Nightmare Structure Ibley to his field with her effect. Alright. And pop Grid Rod. Because I can't really do much. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Luna Light does. Okay. Polymerization. Grab Polymerization with that. And enter Battle Phase. I'm gonna survive with Grid Rod. We have a pretty good combo here to wreck him. Even better now. We got Proxy Horse, and he's gonna use this. I'm gonna use Cyber's White Hat, special summon with his effect. His effect's gonna kick through, lower the attack to him down to 400. I'm 
we'll go into Transfilly. Excuse me. Alright, we're gonna access Toad Talker. That's gonna resolve. Give me back my proxy horse. Start popping cards. Pop. Pop. Now we attack. We need Nightmare Corruptor Idly on the field. And he gives up. That's right. So we opened up with Cyanite Codex. That's pretty good, I guess. In case we don't have Michael Coder, which... It's good, because we don't have Michael Coder, you know? Alright, we got four Mud Skipper. Let's go to Code Talker. We're going to Code Talker now. So, that ability's gonna kick in. Three with Cyanet Codex, Formite Skipper, and Code Exporter. And give me back my Formite Skipper. And give me a Cypress White Hat. I'm gonna get a Micro Coder. So I get to draw three cards just from that play. That was insane. So we're gonna go into Trans Code Talker. We're gonna be able to grab Cyanet Mining. Um, and Code Generator. Use Cyanet Mining, put him in the graveyard, grab Lady V Bug. Alright. We could have grabbed the other one to combo even farther, but it's all good. So we're gonna go into Edge Code Blocker. Shut down the field. Three or link two. Alright. Since that monster is going out of another one, I can bring out Link Infra Flyer. I will bring out Code Talker Inverted, the combo extender. And sign that codec effect goes in with it. We got Backup Secretary, along with Lady Debug. Firewall Dragon. This is a turn two board, guys. You guys see this? Latency's effect's gonna pop because I grabbed it from the graveyard. So right now we're going to access code. Cheese effects gonna pop. Got one curry wig, gonna bring back Bay Wings. Nasty board, guys. And that's game. Dang yam. Was able to draw a card. It's over. I'm not gonna let him play. Pennywise. Alright, so our opponent using Dark Sanctuary. 
Huh? I'm making a video right now. Huh? What's more important? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go into Code Talker. Microcoder's effect is gonna pop. Finite mining. Let's bring that to the graveyard. Bring up backup secretary. Pop back up to the grave. Cyber's white hat. This is kind of a longer game because this guy is using dark. I just wanted to show you guys how OP this deck can be. I just to start popping all this card. When I attack with Code Talker, I'll be able to hit with Code Talker, which is nice. I was about to OTK this guy, but he gets heads. So we take damage instead. I almost actually lose this game for some weird reason. I'm gonna summon code generator. Shooting code talker. See if that's gonna pop. I'm gonna go battle phase. Attack it is a thing. Do its heads. Take the average again. Please be tells. Please be tells. Okay, I got tells. Take that guy out. I'm gonna pop that card. That's a kind of a broken card, Dark Sphere. Alright, he gave up. Two more. Two OTKs left. I think I get a nasty board with this one. Alright, let's see what our buddy starts off with. Dragon Raids. Fusion Destiny. DPE again, guys. Alright, let's see what happens here. Four Mud Skipper. Dragon Maid Downtown. Backup Secretary. We're going to go into Code Talker. And we're going to put it right there. Pull Mud Skipper's effect. Ash Blossom. That's really good. I'm going to use Parallel to be still. This guy pops his effect, tries to kill my Code Talker. But my character talker can be affected by card effects. <laughs> Are you playing at a monster? What are you doing there, buddy? And I got three more games after this, just to show you guys real quick. My three last games right now. And then the video's gonna be done. The code talker combo. You guys are watching this though, right? Hopefully you guys are. All right, we're reversing the book of moon. What? All right. Cubic deck. Cubic Nova. Cubic anger. Look at all these cubic cards. All right, Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. Basically, I'm gonna take 300 damage from this thing, and he has another one too. Gonna use Cubic Karma. Make that thing 4,000. 4,200. I'm gonna be getting hit for so as well. So it makes the game way more easier for me. Thank you very much. Now you're, you're gonna get wrecked. Sorry about that, bud. 
So we got Wood Decay to a plus one right now on our comboing. Parallel Exceed, thank goodness it, it does. It's really good for this combo. So what we're gonna do is actually uh, go into uh, Code Talker with, uh, I think, Parallel Exceed and Michael Coder. Oh no, Solomon Bane and Michael Coder. That way I can be 2,300 attack. Be unaffected by court effects. I'm gonna have to go uh, uh go talker. Yeah, we're gonna have to go. X code talker. I don't think this guy has a chance, guys. We're about to pop off on this guy. I think this is the craziest board we do. That's gonna go chain link three with code generator, Sinet codex, and code culture. Or chain effect three. Kick through. Link to your effect. We're gonna grab latency from the graveyard. We'll be able to draw as well. Get Sim Tabler. This is how you want to step your basically your full combo board right here. This is insane what I could do here, guys. Latency's effect pops. Gotta get that. Go into a code talker inverted. We're making crazy boards here. Grab backup secretary. And selling widget kid. Widget kid's effects gonna pop. Gonna build some dog paper and backup secretary. Revo. Have it, transcode target. That was basically the last, the last game for that segment, but we still got a couple wins that we got. So we go to match history. guys this deck is top tier in Yu-Gi-Oh! I know I'm on the gold rank but I don't really play that much. I'm scared to get the platinum as long as you uh you guys can make your deck the way you want but this is the way I like it and it helps me win to be honest. Alright we have a backup secretary with a grid rod and a cyber speed in let's see what we can do here. Oh we're using and we're reversing another cubic guy This guy has 8,000 attack, 8,400. I'll be able to survive that with good luck. You know. We use Cyber Beacon because he did damage to me. Oh my god, this is hard to save him. Cyber Beacon. And we got one time passcode to combo law. Salomon Great Bay Links. I'm gonna link two into uh, the Lucian Chapter. Over here though, on the right side, because I gained uh, 
500 attack for each monster I can't get, and I can't be destroyed by card effects too quick. Alright, we got two more guys. How many? How much? How much time is this video? 50 minutes. Almost an hour long video for Code Talker for you guys. Make sure you guys watch the full video for the full explanations on how I'm doing this. Video. So right here's a burn deck we're going against. He's trying to burn me out. I misplayed a lot too. They change strike with Necro Valley. two cards face down. And it's my turn. I couldn't really do much. He's bringing my card back to the... Super Black. So yeah, this guy's using a trap heavy deck that counters attacks and stuff. He's gonna keep getting life points. These cards. He's gonna end his face with one card for each down. Parallel of speed. I'm gonna get it to Link Reba with four mud skippers. There's effects in the pop. With side deck codex. I'm gonna bring back four mud skipper with parallel of speed. Make something happen. Make something guys. Oh, I canceled out my own effect. Rip. That's fine. I'm bringing back anyways. Wait. Oh no, I can't. I he canceled out my effect. I'm gonna go to link three transcode. Try to do some damage here if you can. I can't even hit him. Alright, we're just gonna Right, has it where I can't do nothing. Alright, he's gonna summon Goldie, Golden Ladybug with Chain Strike. Chain those two, two together. I'm gonna take 400 damage. Or 800. And he gains life points. Yeah, I can't use that effect. I was just trying to try it. Go to access code. I didn't mean to do that. I I, I didn't look to see if I had much markers in my graveyard. I misplayed right there, not gonna lie. This guy has so many life points. Can't do much here, guys. Gonna bring you back Code Talker from my graveyard. Golden Ladybug is gonna give him so much life points. Sign it optimization. This guy is like 9,400 life points, bro. What do I do here? 9,900 life points. gonna use school invitation with a uh, dark room of nightmare. So any cards in my graveyard it's gonna do damage to me whenever I leak summon. I did not mean to do that. I signed that conflict my own card. There's two misplays guys in this game. Alright, 
transcode target for the rescue. for him to survive. Hey, with backup secretary, decode talker, I'm gonna access decode talker for the dub. Let's go, baby. Alright, last game, guys, and then this is gonna end out the video. make some new videos for you guys, maybe make a, a Utopia video, or maybe a, I kind of want to do the Pendulum, Pendulum um, video, I don't know how to play Pendulum, so I don't know how to use that yet, but we got Co Talker here, alright, Back, bring back helicopter. I'm just gonna leave it how it is, how it is. This is gonna be his last turn because it's over. I guess <laughs> that's it for him. Hey, why would I do that? show you guys the combos that we can do with firewall dragon limit code guys have it that's all the games thank you all for watching the videos uh, watching the video this was my code talker deck um i got more code talker stuff coming soon guys make sure you guys hit that subscribe button put the bell notification stay updated and have a wonderful day everyone peace out we hit 60 minutes later